NFL playoffs, divisional round, Saturday night prime time. We got Packers, Niners. Let's get into it. I see this game being very similar to the Texans Ravens game. Both C.J. Stroud, Jordan Love coming off very similar dominating performances while making their playoff debut. Jordan Love and the Packers deserve all the praise they're getting. The 48 points they scored is the most points Dallas has ever allowed in a playoff game. Question I have is how much of that was Green Bay being good or how much of it was Dallas just being bad? I think it's fair to say a little bit of both. In my wild card preview video I did, I expressed concerns about betting Dallas mainly because of their head coach, Mike McCarthy. Sure enough, his game plan versus the Packers was just mind-boggling. I'm not going to get into how McCarthy and the Cowboys put together the perfect game plan to lose that game. But if you look at what Green Bay had success doing versus Dallas, it was running multiple tight end sets. The Cowboys were playing a ton of dime coverage and dime plus. This allowed Green Bay and Matt LaFleur the ability to scheme guys wide open in the passing game. Dallas defense never adjusted. Um, that same game plan won't work for a San Fran who is top five in defending multiple tight end sets. The San Fran linebacking group is the best in the league in coverage. Green Bay just simply won't get those same looks this week as they did last week. But there is a pathway to success for the Packers. Aaron Jones came back four weeks ago. He's looked great. Um, there's definitely a scenario where he can get going versus this San Fran run defense. I have the uh, Niners 26th ranked run defense, but it's worth noting um, the San Fran defense has faced the fewest rush attempts in the league. And the reason for that is simple. Teams often have to abandon the run versus San Fran because of game state. Um, teams fall behind, then they're forced to start passing. The Packers have scored the first touchdown in their last eight games they played. Um, and this has been an emphasis for Green Bay and LaFleur to get a lead early and control the game flow. In all three of their biggest games, they've come out aggressive in the passing game and got a lead. If Green Bay falls behind in the game and Jordan Love is forced to play catch up against his San Fran pass defense, it'll be a disaster. But if they get the lead and get Aaron Jones going early, they can absolutely keep this close. On the other side of the ball is where I think we see a massive mismatch, though. This Green Bay defense allowed... 37 first downs and over 500 yards of total offense to the Cowboys. Of course, most of that was in garbage time uh, when the game was out of hand. But this Joe Barry defense versus Kyle Shanahan's offense is the biggest mismatch on the field. The soft spot of the Green Bay defense is stopping the run. I think the Niners' ability to have success running the ball is huge. Takes pressure off of Purdy and controls the flow of the game. And San Fran should be able to get whatever they want on the ground versus this Green Bay run defense, especially if Jair Alexander can't go. He didn't practice on Wednesday. San Fran leads the NFL in run plays of 10 yards or more. I do like San Fran in this one. Similar to the Texans, the Packers are getting a bump up in respect for their wild card win. And the Green Bay hype has kind of overshadowed the advantage San Fran has for their bye week. Um, there's talks of Jordan Love being the better quarterback in this matchup, and I'm not sure if he is or isn't, but I think the recency bias is what's helping keep this line from moving to double digits. I make San Fran almost an 11-point favorite in this game. Um, they have a head start on game prep, too. Shanahan knows this Green Bay staff that's been the same since 2021. Niners are fully healthy now. After having basically two weeks off, they'll get Eric Armstead back. Um, on the San Fran D-line for the first time since week 13. And just like Houston and C.J. Stroud, Jordan Love has to build up some scar tissue, go through some tough losses before making a run. Niners move on in this one. Till next time, good luck with your bets.